Hi there, Kenneth B, blue collar guy. So, I was taking my Wolf E-Bike Utopia out for a bike ride, and I was really enjoying myself on some uh, nice bike paths up there in St. Laurent. Anyways, I uh, got myself a flat tire. Um, I don't have any direct audio on this uh, video because the microphone is not that good in the Fayotech pocket, so I thought it would just be easier just to do the voiceover. Anyways, if you continue to watch the video, I have an instructional video on how I fixed my tire. Um, so um, this part here just uh, shows you uh, when I turn around and I must have either hit some glass or um, there was a lot of manholes on the path. If you look as we're going, uh, there's, you'll see a lot of manholes and there could have been a sharp piece of metal sticking up. I didn't really hit any big bumps. It was not a pinch flat. So um, as we're going along the path here, uh, you'll see uh, right there, I think, is where I got the, I think I hit a manhole. There must have been some sharp metal sticking up. Um, the nice thing about the um, fat tire bikes is that they can run on very low tire pressure. So I started at about 24, 25 PSI. So they can run pretty good right up until about 10. After 10, then uh, you're pretty much going to get a flat tire. The lowest tire pressure I think you can run on a fat tire bike is about 10 pounds. So you can ride for a little bit, unlike a, a small tire bike, but you can't ride for too far. Anyways, uh, right about here, uh, my tire pressure started getting into the danger zone. So I pulled over and put it on the sidewalk. I uh, did a quick inspection and I'm like, oh yeah, definitely got a flat tire here. So, uh, we, um, or I, uh, just moved the bike to a safer place. Uh, the sun was kind of go, going down, so uh, I didn't want to fix it on site. It would have been very difficult. Plus, I have a really good tire pump at home. So I thought, well, I'll just get a, an Uber and, and go from there, so... Anyways, um, I may get some slime for the future. Uh, I've heard different reviews on it, and I thought it might help with uh, flats. So keep watching the video, and you'll hear my voice pretty soon. Hi there, Kenneth B, blue collar guy. So I took my e-bike out for a ride today my wolfie bike and I must have ran over a piece of glass on one of those nice bike paths so I'm making this video to show you how to fix a tire on a wolf e-bike when it is the uh, rear tire so the motor on this vehicle is on, on the rear okay now as you notice I didn't take off the whole motor I just pulled the tire off to the side and got out the rim. I found the leak with soapy water. I sanded it down uh, and then I put a tire patch on the hole. So I'm just waiting for the uh, rubber cement to dry and then I will um, re put the two back in the tire and uh, go from there. Uh, you also have to use these, uh, these are like a tire separator. You get into the rim with them like this. Uh, let me show you. Get into the rim like that. 
and then it helps you pull the break the bead on the tire. So, <clears throat> you know, one uh, nice thing about being a blue collar guy is we're not afraid to get our hands dirty. So, uh, anyways, uh, bike was working good. I hit something. Uh, you know, I will not ride a bike on the rims as soon as I felt the tire go down uh, and I started feeling uh, the loss of air. I said that was it. Now, one advantage of having one of these uh, Wolf E-Bike Utopias is that I was able to get the bike home. I was out about 20 kilometers, so I was out quite far. I just called an Uber XL, folded the handlebars down there. They just fold down right there. Put it in the back of the truck, took it home where I could, uh, I could fix it uh, in, my, uh, in my apartment where it's nice and comfortable. Uh, I always have a tire patch kit. If I, if I had a had, if it was a front tire, I could have probably have fixed it uh, on site. But it was getting dark, and um, I didn't want to uh, take any chances of just doing a bad repair. So, and it's always good to have the soapy water to help you find a leak. So, had it been a screw like sticking out of the tire, it would have been a different story. So, you can fix them on the side of the road. So. Uh, don't be afraid about uh, motors on the back of e-bikes. It's uh, not that big of a deal. It's not the end of the world. Um, the only time is if you had to change out the whole tube entirely, and that's not necessary. Just patch the tube, be on your way. And the other, uh, the other tire is good. All right. So uh, that's it for e-bike e adventures. <laughs> I also used a uh, tie-down strap just to strap it to my little stool. So as you can see, you can uh, you can uh, jerry rig uh, just about anything. So uh, it'll it'll work. Uh, E-bike still working good. Um, I'm uh, still loving it. Flat tires on bicycles are a common thing. That's the other nice thing about having rims instead of spokes. Spokes would have been more of a problem. They get out of round. You know, they get a lot of problems. So uh, mags are uh, they might be a little bit heavier than spokes. But in my opinion, they're a lot more durable. All right. So as uh, can it be, uh, blue color guy out. Bye.